This is a special report from ABC News Now. Hello, everyone. I'm Tanya Rivero in New York. We're bringing you an ABC News Now special report, the latest from London. The House of Windsor may need a new nursery soon. Princess Kate Middleton is pregnant. After months of tabloid speculation and rumor, the royal family has confirmed today that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are expecting. Joining us now from London for the first of what is sure to be many royal baby chats is Jeffrey Kaufman. Jeffrey, good afternoon. What a great afternoon it is for royal watchers. Get out the baby booties and the bassinets. Yes, we have a royal pregnancy. I can't say that a lot of us are surprised, but uh, it is now official. The palace confirming that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge expecting their firstborn child. Very exciting news. But just what is Kate's medical situation at the moment? Is it serious? Uh, it's serious. I think um, I think many many women who have been through this will understand. She has acute morning sickness. She was hospitalized uh, today at King Edward the Seventh Hospital here in London. Uh, they were hoping to keep this a little secret for a little while longer, but uh, the morning sickness, uh, which is a serious matter, uh, seems to be quite acute. As as you know, she's very thin, and 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 uh, uh, so it, it's uh, her, her body uh, is particularly vulnerable. It seems uh, she's now being hydrated. Uh, her husband, the uh, Duke of Cambridge, also known as Prince William, uh, is at her side. Uh, she was at her family's uh, Bucklebury estate uh, outside of London this weekend with her parents uh, when the morning sickness hit. Uh, William uh, was at elsewhere but rushed to her side and took her, went with her to the hospital. So Jeffrey, are we then to believe that this pregnancy is probably earlier than, than 12 weeks, which is the sort of the traditional time when you can start telling people we know it's earlier than 12 weeks. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, they've said that. They mm -hmm. said that they were really waiting for the 12-week mark before they were going to announce it to the world. But as you can imagine, in this city with very few secrets, uh, when uh, the Duchess of Cambridge, the most watched woman in the world, uh, is admitted to the hospital, you just know you can't keep that secret. And so very wisely, the palace decided to announce it publicly. They won't say just how much earlier than 12 weeks it is, though. Right, they're not being specific. Now, of course, these rumors have been swirling for a while. We've heard about the bump, the princess turning down a glass of wine. Do any of those look telling in retrospect? Well, you know, I was actually I, I was actually looking through some of the, the, the date book and, and I think there was some talk when they were in Tuvalu in the Pacific on that tour and about I think that was uh, September 18th or so uh, that she she refused a glass of wine. But I don't think that she could have known by then. Am right. I right? It's a, yeah, um, a little you know, early. So I... it, it would have been a little premature. So, you know, I, I frankly think this speculation has been going on all right. year. So uh, at some point, all the speculation was bound to be right, wasn't it? Absolutely. Uh, but I, I do say it is a little unusual. I mean, having been pregnant twice myself, morning sickness that sends you to the hospital is a bit unusual. I, a lot of women go through, obviously, severe morning sickness, but uh, it is a bit extreme to be in the hospital, at least for several days. So of course, we're certainly hoping that she is not seriously ill. But I do want to ask you about the laws on the books there now, because I know there's been talk that the royals would scrap those laws that guarantee only the firstborn son becomes the heir to the throne. And if it's a baby girl, what are the odds now that she's the future queen? Because I, my understanding is that the, it, the ink is still not dry on this new law. Well. He, he, there, there are a couple of answers to that question. What you're talking about the law of primogeniture, which goes back to, uh, goes, I think it's the 14th century, which means that if there's a younger son and an older daughter, uh, then the younger son becomes queen, king and the, and the older daughter uh, ha has to uh, uh, let her, her younger brother go a bump ahead of her in line. That, the queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, already made it clear in uh, speaking to Parliament earlier this year that that law is going to be scrapped. Uh, the Commonwealth heads of government have already approved scrapping that law. Uh, there's some formalities in the British Parliament to go through, but uh, I think the odds are about 100% uh, that whether boy or girl, this will be uh, an heir to the, the, the next heir after Prince Charles and her father, Prince William, uh, to the throne or his father, uh, depending on the, the sex of this child. Now, uh, that's the other thing you've got to keep in mind. Uh, you've got 
two others ahead right. of this n infant in line. Uh, the, Prince Charles is, is in his 60s. Um, William is uh, barely 30. Uh, when exactly is Charles going to become king? When is William going to become king? Uh, you know, it's hard to imagine talking about William passing on when he hasn't even uh, become king. You know, we're talking 60 years from now potentially. Oh. Uh, what you know, we're in 2012. We're talking about this. This baby could be. You know, if William were to live to be about 90, we're talking about this baby becoming king or queen in the year 27. Right. Just, you know, s will you send me a postcard, right. please? <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, that, that, that's a long, long way away. Yes. But, you know, her, his or her grandfather, Prince Charles, knows all about long waits. That's right. It's certainly fun to look into the future and looking into the future, but a much closer date. Do we have any idea when she may be due? Of course, we don't know exactly how far along she is, well, but let's summer? see now. Yeah. Is that what we're uh, thinking? Well, let's do let's do the the math on our fingers here. <laughs> we're in December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, I'm thinking of a yeah early summer baby. Doesn't that make sense? May, June, How perfect lovely. weather for for taking a stroll with the bassinet. Oh, uh, we're all so excited! Can't wait to see the pictures of the new royal nursery. I'm sure they will be stunning. You will be <laughs> hearing Tanya. You will be hearing so much more about yes. this. I I guarantee it. Every detail. Well, thank you so much, Jeffrey Every Kaufman. Every detail. <laughs>